Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Sirius and today we're going to be starting a new adventure. I'm going to be taking y'all along uh, a survival realm and we're going to be building some crazy stuff and just having some fun. So the idea that I had for this area is actually kind of like a giant reptile skull. And so basically from out here, there's going to be just a, like a skull, the skull of like a giant alligator, but it's not an alligator. It's just whatever kind of reptile that might live on a Minecraft server that is humongous. And it was so big that it managed to get underneath a mountain and it died. And now we live in the skull. <laughs> In the we, we live in the skull of a giant reptile and I, I think that's a really cool idea and that's kind of what I want to go with and so what we what we really need is we need a bone farm because a lot of the design is probably going to be using bones and so we're going to be needing a bone farm and so I'm thinking I'm gonna take y'all along with me we're gonna go on an amazing adventure it might not work out but we're gonna go down into the mines and try and find a skeleton spawner so that we can actually we can actually make this thing I am from the future and that little adventure did not go to plan I did not find a skeleton spawner and it was it was a, a bust but there was one good positive thing oh my lord yeah I found diamonds that was the highlight of that entire thing. On a high note, I have been doing a lot of fishing and I actually, from this fishing, got a really nice fishing rod. I'm pretty sure this is the best enchantments you can get on a fishing rod. Luck of the C3, Unbreaking 3, Lower 3, and Mending. And I've also gotten a bunch of other fishing rods that aren't quite as useful anymore, but the bows are really nice. I can make maybe a super bow in the future. And then I've also gotten a bunch of enchanted books, a couple of them, like this one, got Silk Touch and Mending, that could be good for a pickaxe, Fortune 2, Sharpness 3, could be good for a, uh, maybe a sword. We got a couple of other ones with like Silk Touch and Mending, some of the others maybe aren't as uh, amazing. We have also gotten ourselves some Elytra that we went and bought actually, and we put, we put Mending on them. I immediately put mending on them. It was one of the books I had caught from fishing. It was the only book I had that was just mending and I put it on there. We also have our new friend. His name is Basket. <laughs> he was lost. I actually have a lot of like lost wandering villagers who leave their llamas here. But this was one that was left in a tree near us, and we named him Basket, and now he is here to stay. We have also expanded our garden, <laughs> and I, uh, it, I, I laugh because it's just, it's, it, the bamboo looks so funny to me sometimes. We expanded our little carrots. We got a ton of bamboo. Hopefully, we can make some, what is it called? What's it called? It's around here somewhere. What's it called? Scaffolding. Scaffolding. We can make some more scaffolding with the bamboo. That would be pretty nice. What we actually need to go ahead and start on is making that mob farm. We, we haven't done that. So we're going to take some of this cobblestone. And we're going to go actually into our backyard. What? <laughs> we're like just right over this hill. Right over this hill. And we're going to go and start on our mob farm. So as you can tell, we have built the farm, the mob farm, but it did not work out to plan. Um, it, it doesn't produce anything because as you can see, this chest is empty. There's nothing in there. In a snow biome, the strays spawn, right? Well, strays have to have access to light. They have to be able to see the sky to be able to spawn. Not light, light was the wrong word, but they have to be able to see the sky to be able to spawn. And on top of this big old thing, there's a roof. There's a roof and it does not work. And I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I don't believe strays can actually spawn that high up in the first place. 
so we're gonna have to tear it down and Rosie right here has actually offered to help me tear it down and so we're about to get cracking on this we're gonna tear it all down get all our cobblestone back and then I'm gonna be trying to build it again but lower with no roof and hopefully the stray will be able to actually spawn there and then later on we might go around and put like torches everywhere in hope to make the stray only spawn in this little area so we're gonna get started on actually taking it down it'll take a little minute but we'll get it and we'll be right back as I was about to tear down the mob farm a couple of people came along by it was actually these two guys and they came and helped me tear it down and they gave me something that I was not anticipating getting and I'm actually gonna show y'all something super super secret that you can tell no one about this is a uh, between me and you okay no one else can know all right I'm gonna show you where I hide my diamonds but in this little secret chest there is also something else so in here is obviously the few amount of diamonds I have along with a couple of other various things but this right here is a beacon yeah, they actually gave me a beacon. Rosie gave me a beacon. It was super helpful tearing down the mob farm. It, it, it helped a ton. It's going to help in the future, I know. Especially when we kind of need to gut out that mountain. It also helped me do this real quick. We've already started the farm on the ground floor. We've already dug a pretty deep hole for them to drop into and uh, to get the bones. And so we're going to... Kind of set up the waterways and set up the platforms for them to be on set up the uh trap doors that'll trick them into walking in here and maybe in the future to make it a little bit more efficient we'll put torches kind of spaced out everywhere so it kind of forces them to spawn here makes it super efficient helps us out a ton make a awesome little bone farm and maybe we can sell the bones in the future but right now we're just really focused on getting the bones to build <laughs> build our home we haven't even begun to build our home yet it's just kind of a barren hole it's just a hole with a bunch of chests ton of chests nothing else so i'm gonna go around actually uh finish this up and we'll see how it goes all right we got the basic figure of it done i think i'm gonna fill in these gaps just so they don't get stuck right here and they can easily walk in now what we need to do is actually get a ton of trap doors put them all around the edges of everything and get water set up i think these platforms actually need to maybe be one higher why is this off-centered oh my goodness oh my goodness okay that was an easy fix um yeah i think i need to raise these platforms just a little bit higher add the water we're gonna have to figure out how the water won't freeze i think all i need to do is put a block above it and then add in the trap doors add in the pickup system at the bottom add up add in a way for us to get down there and we should all be settled oh okay we got we got him we got him oh lord i nearly just died Woo! no 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 get away from me so we finished the platforms We've got everything done, but the only problem we have now is the ice being frozen because we're in this oh so terrible, 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 very, very, very terrible. Did I say that enough? I hate this biome, okay? I hate that I decided to live here, but I do believe this should fix everything. That should fix the water problem. Now, okay, come on. You got it. All right. Now... They will be able to be right here, but I'm pretty sure they'll end up just walking off anyways. 
So we're gonna go around just bopping some blocks on top of all of these. This should fix it all. So we have actually finished with what I believe is everything we needed to do for our little bone farm. And I'm actually just gonna bring you over here and show you how we access uh, where, where all the things will be dropping. So we made a little bit of a glass thing for us to be able to see. They should be able to drop right here. Earlier, before I had all the hoppers and things set up, there was a couple of bones right here. So there were a few that had dropped. We haven't gotten any. Night hasn't fallen since I built this. But now I want to go outside and light up the area around it a little bit. So we've lit, we lit up the area a little bit. Uh, only one night passed and it was actually during the time that I was lighting up the surrounding area. So we're going to hop on down into the chamber real quick and see what we got just from the little bit of lighting that I did. Oh my goodness. Some of my lights have turned off. They turned off. That's what I'm saying. Because I, I put them on top of a snow block like this. I put them on top like this. And the snow actually ends up melting. And so the, the light goes away. So I made a quite a few of those mistakes actually, as you can tell. That I need to go and I need to go and fix. Look at this. Why does that happen? Why doesn't it just There you go. Oh, they are just everywhere. Oh my goodness. I did a terrible job. Oh! Okay. Well, I would not be very surprised if we didn't get many many any bones at all. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. Is that another one? No. Okay. So I'll be going around just trying to fix my mistakes. Trying to get all the light to come back that I had. They're everywhere. I literally could not have done a worse job. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, okay, enough, enough wasting time. We, we need to go check. Yeah, that, it looks fine, it looks fine. Uh, no need for me to check anymore. We're gonna go, and actually we're probably gonna need to uh, chop down all those woods because those are places they can spawn in and still live actually because the trees protect them hey it looks like we got we got a skeleton we actually got one of those guys and we got some arrows so it is working if i light up some more we'll eventually get more and more bones the more time we spend in the night time the better it'll do so I am happy to say that we do have a successful bone farm. We need to go light up some more area. And actually, I think we may need to take out these woods just so we can have more area to put light. Because I don't currently see any stray in here. But what they'll do is they'll spawn and they'll come hide underneath these trees. And... I want as many stray as I can get to be spawning in that little area. So what we're about to do is go all over the place, placing torches and making it as spawn proof as possible in this area because I want maximum efficiency. You see that right there? You see that right there? That little pile? That is why we need to take out all those trees. That is a bunch of mobs that should be spawning in our farm. But they aren't because of my woods. My woods are ruining everything. Look at how many there are in this little hole. Oh, okay. Well, there are actually so many right here. anymore yep bye nope one more oh there's two more i think yeah got him 
We will now commence deforestization. All right, we've taken out all the woods. The only thing I need to really take care of is that one little floating snow block over there. I've already took the time to go around and light up the area. And so it's starting to look really nice. One problem I have noticed though over here at the farm is this. The snow gets super thick and they can't move. And so they actually just kind of get stuck. And I worry if I try to, yeah, they're just going to shoot me. I want to save y'all. Well, save y'all and then put y'all in a hole. But I'm going to try and <laughs> see if I can get down there. We should I, do I do I kill them in this instance? Do I just do I just do this? Go away. Go away. All right. And then I'm going to just pop down here and take out all the snow. So I cleared out all the snow. Hopefully it'll work a little bit better now. They may still get stuck and it will snow again and I may have to do this again. I'm considering putting string. I'm not sure if that stops spawning or if that just stops the snow, but uh, I'll have to do a little bit more research into that. After I finished chopping all the woods and fixing all that up, I felt that it was time to go get the resources to actually build what we wanted to build originally. So in order to do that, we hopped into the nether, grabbed ourselves some nether quartz, went over and killed some blaze in order to get some blaze rods, got a little bit sidetracked and had to help my little sister, purple dart rules right here. She needed a couple things, came back to my base, but realized that my neighbor's doors were ridiculous and interesting and I, I don't even know what's going on. Tried to save my little sister again because she needed some food. She was really low on hearts and she was just in the dark and scared. And I came to rescue her, but I couldn't I couldn't stop the phantoms. I, I, I don't know what to do in that situation. <laughs> Hopped over into the end, grabbed ourselves some chorus fruit. Then came back to the base and realized I still don't know. Can, can someone please explain? Someone, please. All right, really. Ladies and gentlemen, after all this time, after all the things we've done today, I believe it is finally time for us to start building the actual head that we intended to build at the beginning. So we're just gonna start out right here and I've already placed a block incorrectly. Okay, you know what, we'll just leave it like that. And we're gonna go out about 18 far, I believe. It's gonna be something, something like that. So I laid out the bottom of the mouth. This is how it's going to be looking. This is the size that we're going to be working with. I've actually had to add some dirt to the end because it is bigger than I anticipated. We're also probably going to have to cut some of that dirt out. This whole platform is going to be gone. Maybe some of our chests, definitely our furnaces are going to probably need to be moved for right now because the, the head's probably going to go around this high, about right there, and so we're going to have to cut all that out. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So this is the outline of the mouth. The outline is completely done. I know it looks a little bit wonky in some places, but it, it I still got some detailing to do to it. And it's looking a whole lot larger than I anticipated. I did not expect the mouth to be this big but this is going to be kind of like the entrance and it, it's looking awesome i can't wait to actually start filling it in i have actually come to the conclusion that i did not prepare enough and did not bring enough resources and bones to do this but i will be going get them and i will continue to build away this is how it looks after i've added in all the teeth and a couple other little extra details it's starting to look really nice I'm loving the way it's turning out I just gotta kind of finish off the top of the this area I'm not sure what to call this area the the, the roof the, what is this oh my gosh guys I think we finished I think, I think we have just finished it. 
Obviously, I need to get rid of some of the dirt that is in the way that I used for scaffolding, but I believe this is it. Now, what I will be doing is I'm going to actually throw in some diorite slabs with the quartz just because it has somewhat of a similar white to it, but it's still a little grayish. It doesn't go with it perfectly, but it breaks it up and makes it to where it's not all just one flat slab of quartz up there. Now that we have this all constructed, I think it is time that we can actually shape the land and make it look a lot nicer. And so I'll get started on that right now. I've now made the front look a whole lot more natural looking. If we come up here, we can take a look. Yes, sir. I like the way that looks. I even brought it out a little bit uh, under the water right here. And if we take a peek, I brought it all the way down, shaping it all the way down and things like that. I mixed in a little bit of coarse dirt. I actually managed to get some grass to grow into here. I had more, so I do think the grass will eventually go away. And then I added this little path right here, just leading up into the mouth. And I think it looks really nice. And so if you like the way this turns out, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is actually all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Peace.